Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Thought I'd do my usual beginning of the month sort of overview of the tank. This is 10 months in from the very start. This is a 10 month update. Everything's going really good. So we'll quickly touch on a few issues. This frog spawn lophilia is a little bit peed off at the moment. It's a little bit retracted in. I think it's because we've just come off of a 90% water change. But even though you, if you, you know, the, the water change water is or match to the tank parameters, they still can get a little bit peed off, especially, let's say you're doing 90% but you have to take the water level right down to the sand bed virtually, and it comes out of the water, so it can can uh, put them in a bit of a mood, but it's hopefully it'll, it'll bounce back and expand up. So we've had good growth on everything, especially this barley slimer in the center, really sprouting out now, good, good color, uh, really sort of growing up. These two tips, the tallest tips are really shooting up. So every couple of days you'll be noticing them taller. Uh, this Montipora Capricornus, really plating now and crusting well on the plug. Yeah, sort of plating out, finding its feet and crusting, that's good. Uh, pink Hystrix, Ceratopora, Pink Hystrix Ceratopora, yep. Yeah, uh, that's doing really good as usual, good colour, good growth, amazing growth. Oh, Montipora Hasuta, the yellow polyps, that's doing great. It's quite hard to film this coral actually. There we go, it's a little bit better, yeah. I had to reposition it a little bit because it come off, it's, uh, it was glued into the rock, it come out. One of the big Mexican turbo snails moved it, so we've glued it back in place, but yeah, it's very settled and growing well. This Montipora, blue Montipora digitata, it's probably one of my favorite corals in here. It's an amazing color, so see, it's better looking at the naked eye of it, but yeah, it's, it's doing really good. It's really growing well. It's an amazing growth in the past sort of three weeks and really sprouting up. Hopefully that continues. It will, uh, I had to make a little frag plug here of a uh, new frag of this red digitata. I snapped it off messing about with the uh, wave pump on the other side. So this Millipora, it's probably the slowest growing one here. It's, uh, it's encrusting well on the frag plug, but we've had no real growth from the tips as yet. But it can take some time sometimes to base out on the frag plug and then start growing up. Red Digitata doing awesome. Now this green Hystrix, yeah, it is a green Hystrix, is, is browned right out or gone. You could almost mistake it for pink Hystrix. So I don't know what's going on with that at all. It's, it's, it's probably a nutrient issue, I'm not sure. So my nutrients are 2 ppm nitrate um, phosphates are showing zero on um, salifer test kit, but no doubt they're a bit higher than that. I must invest in a HANA checker to see exactly what the phosphates are doing. So the Duncan coral doing good. These new heads around the base are, are really growing. GSP on the back wall. It's really uh, expanding now. So probably by the end of the year that would have covered that whole back wall. So it's, just, it's growing rapid that is. Clownfish are happy as Larry in their little home in the pulse coral colony here. So the females in the, in the middle there. So they're really happy. So it's showing breeding activity as well. She does let the male into it, in with her inside the colony as well at night. But yeah, they're uh, all doing good. Just see through the, the rockscape there. Our Kupang damsel or Azur damsel. That's calmed right down since we put the uh, Midas Benny in, which you won't see because he's probably hiding away. In the rock escape he hates the camera down in the cabinet all doing good so dosing system with dosing calcium and alkalinity uh, magnesium seems to keep stable with just with the 90 percent water change actually so i never have to dose magnesium i have added the uh 225 mic uh, micron filter sock back in the rear chamber here Solely because I think it could be a nutrient issue with the uh, loss of colour on this green 
hysterix so I thought we'd uh, try to run the tank a little bit cleaner just to see it's all an experiment uh, right issues the two issues with the aptasia and bubble algae uh, aptasia issue has been solved we've won the war with aptasia we've used red seas aptasia x hit the tank about four or five times and then uh, i just cannot see any aptasia anywhere in the rockscape so that's that problem solved as for bubble algae as you can see here there's colonies of it here there and everywhere these little patches of it now we are using two emerald crabs to try and sort the problem out there's two large emerald crabs in here and they are picking about with it as you can see here you know they do sort of pop the bubbles and sort of pick about with it but say so they've got quite a bit to uh, to eat so until they run out their preferred food source they'll probably move on to it but we'll see what happens everyone's saying use vibrant uh, as a solution to, to clearing the bubble algae and we probably we will use vibrant this in the end just to sort of uh it'd be interesting to see actually how effective it is so the, the emerald crabs over the next couple of we weeks hopefully will, will go to town with it but if they don't we use vibrant and uh and we hit it that way but yeah everything's going brilliant um just want to say uh hit my son's channel up check it out it's Corey willard on youtube he does some really good stuff on his nano tank and he's got some exciting news coming up with a tank upgrade at the end of the year and i've got some really good stuff coming up in the next few weeks as well so definitely hit that subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh hit that like thumbs up it really helps me out if you hit that like button as well please that'd be brilliant folks obviously any comments chuck them in the box below as always I'll try and reply to everybody, so it's uh, it's hard sometimes. But yeah, everything's going good 10 months in on the little Red Sea Max Nano as it's maturing out, so it's getting better by the month, really. So thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you in the next one.